What's up? So, I got a lot of clothes, like, a lot. This is gonna be like a collective haul. Anytime we transition to a new season, I always like to kind of up my closet, get rid of old pieces, bring in new pieces. So this is gonna be like a fall clothing haul. I have pretty much everything. Every day wear stuff. I got a lot of graphic tees. I got a couple coats, stylish loungewear, and I also got a few asymmetrical pieces and two designer pieces, which I will talk about. I will show you guys everything. I tried to make sure I remembered and saved the link, the receipt for everything. So, I'm really, really excited. I've been working on my wardrobe all year, like literally. And I really wanted to share these pieces with you guys and put you on to some brands that I shop from, especially since a lot of the stuff I got so I could mix and match it with other pieces. A lot of the stuff is affordable, so I was like, I have to do this haul. I have to. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. My name is Sheldon. Okay, and like the video. All right, don't be acting stingy with the likes. We're gonna start with the basics, like loungewear stuff, stuff that I lounge around in. I got these gray sweatpants from Minimal LA. These are called Everyday Sweatpants, and they're in the color gray. Then I also got a set. I got the sweatshirt, the hoodie, and the pants in the color beige. And I've actually been wearing it so much that it's in the wash right now, so don't mind me. But as you can see, there is some B-roll footage of me wearing it. Minimal is my go-to when it comes to pants. Stuff that I can just lounge around in, run errands in. These next two pieces are from this site. I've never shopped from this one before, but... I'm really happy with the pieces that I got. I will try to leave like the name of the brand on the screen right here because I don't, I don't know what it stands for. I got this asymmetrical white shirt. I just think this is a nice piece to have, something to layer with. This is a woman's shirt, so if you're interested, I would recommend you to upsize it. I got this in a medium and it still fits pretty taut, but it's really stretchy. The material is really stretchy. But with that being said, I could have gone for a large. Here's another oversized piece. This is more like a shirt dress like it drapes past my ankles basically once again this piece is very different it's giving batman no i'm learning that my fashion sense is really inspired by marvel dc and anime so yeah i was really drawn to this this was going to be a part of my halloween fit which i did not even wear on halloween but i think once again it's one of those pieces you can layer with pretty much anything i've already worn it a couple times all right i'm super excited to talk about this brand this is from the brand manure De Bois. I think I got that right. I'm certain I got that right actually. These are split hem set. So this is the split hem hoodie with the silver poppers or buttons on the side of the sleeve. And then it's also got leather detailing on the sleeve as well. So Manuel De Bois has turned into one of my favorites. I've been shopping from them for years and over time the quality of the clothing, but it never disappoints, number one. Number two, it gradually improves. I never really had a bad experience with them. They make trendy, sophisticated, but classy pieces to me. But on the right side of the hoodie, you can see more of the split hem design in it. I think it's really cool. And then the pants are really nice too. So it's got the same concept as the hoodie. It's got the leather detailing on the side with the buttons. At the bottom of the pants, there's just jawstring so you can adjust how tight it you want it to fit around your ankles. It's got leather detailing on the back pockets, on the fronts as well. The jawstring is actually leathers. And on top of that, the set is super comfy and it's perfect as we approach colder months. This next set, it's another one of my favorites. I've been wearing it so much. It's in the wash. I know, I'm so bad. But it's this nylon jacket and sweatpants. So jacket is cropped. It is a little revealing. If you're not into the cropped jacket, then just get this. But I personally don't mind a little belly moment. So it's super comfortable. It does kind of cinch in at the waist. So I would recommend to like, you know, upsize if you want to lose fit. Pants are fire, super comfortable, very flowy. And they almost feel more like really comfortable pajama bottoms to me. But yeah, definitely another piece that I would just lounge around in. Okay, so I've never tried their mom jeans before, but I decided to give these a try because I just love the detail work as far as how they're distressed. And you can see that it goes all the way down the length of the pants. There's also zippered on both sides. Now, I did get these in a size way too big for me. But the thing is, about most of their pants, they have these little elastics on the inside. So you can adjust how tight you want it to fit around your waist. Why I got them so big is because I do like the oversized look with these pants. But yeah, these are just a pair of everyday jeans. You can dress up, dress down. Totally up to your preference. But I really like these. And it's got the Manuel du Bois branding on the back. Another thing I like about this brand is I like when the branding is not all up in your face. You know like when you see a Louis bag and it's very distinguishable because of the LV. That's cute but I prefer to keep things minimalistic when it comes to branding so I think Manuel Du Bois does a really good job of that. And then the other pair of pants I'm actually wearing right now is another pair of mom jeans and it's got these 
abstract, distressed, detailing on the front. So it's supposed to be a woman's face, I believe. I'm looking in the mirror because I can kind of make them out from here, but I do have some B-roll footage for you guys to see. There's also some detailing at the bottom of the legs. It's got three buttons that you can leave open or closed. And once again, these are an oversized fit for me. I did get them a size too large. These fit a lot better than the blue jeans I just showed you guys. Once again, these pants, I mean, they're dope. They're super comfortable. And these are quality jeans that I feel like you can wash it without having to worry about the color fading, you know? That's always been my phobia with jeans, but these, these are pretty durable. All right, y'all, so another split hem piece that I got is this graphic tee. This is also from the same brand. I love this. I don't know what else to tell you. It's got an asymmetrical cut towards the bottom of the shirt so that it's not straight all the way down, as you can see. I love that. It's the detailing, it's the little thing. Okay, you can't talk fall without talking flannel, all right? So I got this flannel dress. Never guess what I got it from. I got it from Amazon. If you check Amazon for like basic stuff, like if you're looking for a particular color flannel, which I was, Amazon got you. When I'm looking for clothes, I will look anywhere for it. I don't really stick to a particular brand I shop. When people ask me where I shop from, I shop from everywhere. It just depends on who has what I'm looking for. So Amazon had exactly what I'm looking for. I did get this in a size medium, but I just love this bright blue. And yeah, just another one of those pieces that you can mix and match and wear with a lot of different things. Oh my god, I feel like this video is all over the place. So these next pair of pants, these are vintage high-rise tie-dye jeans. These are more like a straight leg fit to me, and I did get these a size bigger than I wanted to. But I could have gone another size up. So I believe these run small. I think I got these pants from like an Instagram boutique. They will be linked though. But I love these just because, you know, the colors are neutral so you can wear it with a lot of stuff. I love the tie-dye detailing at the bottom of the pants. Try saying that five times. And yeah, these aren't really heavy jeans in comparison to the other jeans I showed you guys. The material is a little bit thinner for these. They're still comfortable, they still look fire, but just a little disclaimer. I can't go a year without picking up a trench coat. I got this black and olive two-tone trench coat from this website or this brand called Saint Chic, Saint Chick, Chick. I mainly got it for the two-tone design. I think this is really unique. And this is a fall color. I do believe the sizing for this jacket was women, so be prepared to upsize. Okay, so now I have, it's like another one of those lounge pieces. This is a set and I got this from Get Out of Stock. This is, I found this brand through Instagram. I think it was tagged. Someone had posted a picture in one of their pieces and I checked out their page and they have like, they have some pretty decent stuff. As far as the sweatshirt, it's basically an Adidas style hoodie. It's got the Adidas logo all over it. It's also got it on the hood too. I think that's really cool. Pants, maybe it's just because I got a little body, but these don't really fit the way I want them to fit. Maybe it's just for people with long legs. It's still comfortable. And then another thing that throws me off is how long the, josh, the drawstring is. But when you look, take a look at the drawstring, you can see what they did with the tips of that. I think that's really cool. And then the way they knotted these drawstrings too. I don't know if it's supposed to be a shoelace, but yeah, this sold me. This will keep you warm too. All right, so I got this see-through mesh shirt. It looked better online. I ain't gonna hold y'all. But it's supposed to be like some sort of sparkle design. I got this from the same website that I got the trench coat from. But yeah, it's just your typical mesh shirt. It's got little sparkle vertical lines going down the whole shirt basically and it fits me perfectly i also got another mesh shirt i think from the same website this is just without the sparkle i think this one's more cropped and then the last piece from this brand is this overcoat it's just an oversized coat it's got a bit of a woolly feel to it like wool and cotton so it'll definitely keep you warm it's got this little buckle at the bottom and then you can close the top with this little flap right here and it goes over a button on the left side so got this in a size medium and it fits me perfectly almost forgot a piece so i got this beige leather jacket this is from the same brand as well this is the last piece now this has got some texture to it it's hard to pick it up on camera it's textured you may be able to see but it's not just a standard leather beige jacket but it does run small i think i got this in a medium I believe and it still fits like it's a little cropped so PSA but I mean it's stylish once again this is another piece you can wear pretty much anything just because it's beige and I also really love anything leather all right y'all let's get into it let's talk about ASOS ASOS be having everything anything you can think of I got a shit ton of just essential t-shirts these are oversized but I got this in gray 
This is beige. I also got one in black, and I also got another gray one because I plan on distressing it. But you can never go wrong just having basics, especially if it's in your neutral colors. So I got plenty of these. What I love about ASOS is you can find so many graphic tees. I'm a sucker for graphic tees. When I don't know what I want to wear, I'm going to put on a graphic t-shirt. The one I'm wearing right now is from ASOS as well. And I also got this beige long sleeve as well. ASOS just become through. It's just a regular denim overall. I plan on distressing this though. So this is the ASOS design and I got this in a size 10. And it fits me well. I really wanted just a simple, basic, oversized sweater. ASOS came through. This is like a really thick and heavy duty shirt. The material is really thick and what I love about this, since it's so big, it's gonna cover like the pockets of your pants most likely. I guess they decided to put pockets on the shirt. There's pockets on both sides too, so. All right, let's get into these boots. So this first pair is this an female Meister. Style of this is just a regular leather ankle boot until you get to the heel. And look at that, I just couldn't resist. I couldn't. I've been eyeballing this boot for so long. The heel is supposed to resemble a bird claw. I think these are really sleek. It's it's very different. It's very different. That's why I like it. I posted this a couple times on Instagram. People were asking like, how can I walk in them? Like, how is it walking in these boots? And it's like the happy medium between just a regular standard platform boot and like a stiletto heel, I guess. In simpler terms, I can walk casually. Like, I don't have to concentrate on walking in these boots. Okay, so this next boot, I was only supposed to get one pair. I was supposed to get bird claw boot that I showed you, and I wanted to get me a nice pair of sneakers. Until I saw these, my mouth just dropped. These are the Dries Van Noten beige snake print boots. They also had some in like this really, they had some in this color, but of course they were sold out. But yeah, when I saw this, I was like, yeah, I gotta get this. I have. Heel isn't anything crazy, but the platform is so extreme that it gives you inches. Like, I love the interior of the boot too. It's like this dark burgundy to show you. I just think this is so dope. I love the detailing of the boot. This is just a staple piece. It's probably not something I'd wear too often. I've already got my wares in, but yeah, when I saw this, I was obsessed. And I think that is everything we have come to the end of this video. I'm gonna start doing these more often. This is just stuff that I collected basically throughout the month of October. I didn't get everything at once, but it all did come within like the end of September all the way leading to the end of October. And I want to start doing hauls like this for you guys more often to put you onto some brands that sell stylish stuff without breaking the bank. So yes, if you guys enjoyed this video, please sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel. Let me know which piece was your favorite. Let me know out of all these pieces, what would you get right now? Comment below. Let me know. Let your boy know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video.